What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel, it's Des again. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at what is a reserve rifle platoon, its structure and the training in an army reserve infantry unit. So what is a platoon? A platoon in the reserve infantry is a subunit within an infantry company organization and is typically composed of three rifle sections and a small headquarters element. It has the same structure as a regular force infantry platoon. The platoon size will vary depending on numbers, but a typical reserve infantry platoon generally comprises of about 30 soldiers. Its structure is similar to its regular force counterpart, but without any armored personnel carriers, as all reserve infantry units are light infantry. In an infantry platoon, the platoon commander is either a second lieutenant, a lieutenant, or a junior captain, assisted by a platoon warrant officer or a senior sergeant. In most cases in the reserves, the platoon warrant is a sergeant. The platoon is divided into three eight-person rifle sections and a heavy weapons detachment, which will deploy a two-member machine gun team armed with a C6A1 GPMG and a two-man anti-armor team armed with an M2 84mm Carl Gustav weapon system. The rifle sections are commanded by a sergeant or master corporal with a master corporal or senior corporal in the second in command or two IC position. The weapons attachment is commanded by the platoon warrant officer, the rifle section. Within the rifle section, two members of the rifle section will be armed with C9A2, light machine guns, the spare barrel and extra box of 200 rounds of 5.56 ammo for the gun. Two members will carry a C7A2 with an underslung 40 millimeter grenade launcher and extra rounds along with extra boxes of 5.56 ammo for their rifles. The remainder of the section will all be armed with C7A2s and one member may carry a Remington 870 shotgun and another member will carry a breacher's kit if the section is conducting urban operations training. The section commander will carry a lightweight radio, spare battery, a map and compass, small binocular, boxes of spare ammo, and smoke grenades of various colors. The Section 2IC will carry spare ammo, smoke grenades, and a lightweight radio also. All members will carry their issued gas masks, and some of the section may carry an inert M72A5 short-range anti-armor disposable launcher if the section is conducting anti-armor training. The Platoon Headquarters. In the platoon headquarters, the platoon commander will carry a C7A2 with extra ammo, a 9mm pistol, map and compass, binoculars, smoke grenades, gas mask, and lightweight radio. The platoon one will also carry a C7A2 with ammo, a 9mm pistol, gas mask, and also a lightweight radio. The platoon signaler will carry a C7A2 and the platoon's lightweight radio in a man pack with spare antenna and batteries. The store's person slash driver will have a C7A2 and will operate the platoon vehicle. A second driver may be added to the platoon headquarters and will have a C7A2. The rifle section is broken down into two assault groups of four soldiers each. When conducting advanced of contact drills, one team will be called assault group one, commanded by the section commander, and the other assault group two, commanded by the 2IC. Within each assault group, it can be broken down into two fire teams of two soldiers each, and within that, fire team can be broken down into individual pairs of one soldier each. This structure is used when conducting training on assaulting a trench or enemy position. The platoon headquarters will operate as a separate unit and will be the command and control element, the weapons detachment. A weapons detachment can be added to the platoon structure and is comprised of a two-member GPMG team armed with a 7.62 C6A1 machine gun. The assistant gunner will be armed with a C7A2 rifle and will carry extra 7.62 ammunition. A two-member short-range anti-armor team armed with the M2 84mm Carl Gustav. Both members will have and be armed with uh, C7A2 rifles. And for training purposes, the number two will carry extra training 84mm rounds. Other attachments. Other attachments can be added to the platoon organization and they include a small recce section of eight soldiers who will carry out recce tasks, which will include point and area recce's, an engineer section of eight engineers for obstacle clearance or construction, a firing party or breaching teams, 
If engineers are not available, then a mobility debt, formerly known as assault pioneers, may be added. A medical assistant who handles battlefield casualty care and a forward observation party, which comprises of an artillery officer and a senior sergeant. All attachments will be armed with C-7A2s and all of the attachments will be under the command of the platoon headquarters. The platoon transport. All reserve infantry platoons are structured as light infantry, but may have vehicles in their position, such as the MSVS cargo transport for troop lift and a stores vehicle, and a Milcott Silverado for the platoon headquarters group. Both vehicles will be operated by both drivers. If more vehicles are required, then more drivers can be added. Training. Reserve infantrymen will carry out training within their platoons and the training will comprise of standard infantry training, which includes live and dry fire section and platoon advanced contact drills using blank and live ammo and may also include grenades and anti-armor weapons. Weapons familiarization and qualification training on all the small arms used in the infantry. They will participate in urban operations in day and night scenarios. Winter warfare training including the usage of toboggans, setting up a 10-man RT tent, using snowshoes and skis, building defensive positions in the snow and, and building improvised shelters. Offensive and defensive training with other reserve or regular force units. They will participate in training with other allied armory, armies. Patrolling, both offensive and defensive, including fighting patrols and recce patrols. CRBN environmental training. Air mobile operations using the CH-146 Griffin light utility helicopter and the CH-47 Chinook helicopter. Domestic and international training. A reserve infantry platoon can be formed and tasked to provide support for both domestic operations and overseas operations with their regular force counterparts. In the mounted role for overseas deployment, a reserve infantry platoon will get from familiarization training on the LAF 6.0, the primary vehicle of the regular force infantry, and how to conduct mounted operations. In the domestic role, the infantry platoon can be employed to support local municipalities in flood, snow, and forest fire disaster relief. So there you have it. This is the type of training that you're going to get within a reserve infantry platoon, how the infantry platoon is structured, uh, the types of weapons that they will be carrying and using during uh, their training. So I'm glad you guys, uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Please do uh, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know if you like this video. Give me that big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next video.